the fabulous uh, silhouette scenes from the annual Stampin' Up! catalog because I love the greetings and the way they correspond with this mountain air outdoorsy kind of stamp set. So for the outdoorsy person in your life, no matter who they are, they will love this card, which is featuring the mountain stamp sets and the scenery background, some trees, some fun trinkets. So let me give you some tips for this card, which also includes the Coastal Weave 3D embossing folder, which is a really great natural kind of um, look uh, folder that's just come out in the January to June mini catalog. So let's get stamping. Okay, so for this card, I have a couple pieces that are going to um, use my die cutting machine. Um, one of them is this fabulous tree here, and there's actually two dies uh, in the set that are like this. So it really gives you um, a chance to make a whole lot of trees in just a few cuts. And the other is my Coastal Weave 3D embossing folder, which I am going to use to um, texture my background. So this is sort of a great all-purpose, um, yeah, all-purpose non frilly flowery embossing folder so it actually goes with the um, tropical uh, paradise kinds of pieces in the catalog but go ahead and uh, feel free to use it for anything else too so let me um, do my die cutting and through the magic of television ta-da there is my um, piece right there and I have my tree um, I'll die cut too and remember you want to use your um, die brush attachment for your take your pick tool to get all those little pokey pieces out very easily all right so card base for this is garden green uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my layer and often I, I do this um, not flat I do it with dimensionals but this one I kind of put flat between the texture and the non texture I think there's enough um, sort of visual break there to give you the edge um, to show the edge really really nicely so next thing is this layer of designer series paper which is from country club you can see the golf carts on the back um, <laughs> all kinds of fun golfing prints whoops but the front side is all um, plaids and argyles so it gives you a lot more flexibility if you have non-golfers you would like to treat with cards and I'm going to go ahead and glue that down which then brings us to our um, whisper white layer so let's talk about um, masking and let's talk about uh, the pieces here in this mountain air set so I am going to uh, grab my my uh, sun, moon, whatever you want to use it for here. And then uh, I'm going to grab my mask. So let's get set here. Now the first part of this I'm actually going to do is the, the bottom part and that's going to help us space from there. When you're stamping it doesn't really matter if you stamp um, layers on top of each other with classic ink. They're, they're going to merge together uh, no matter what you do. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this across here and with photopolymer you can really see whether you got a good image impression and then the next layer for this is actually going to be the back of this stamp because it's a reversible so I'm going to go ahead and give that just a quick scrub so that I can peel this off and adhere it to the back okay and for this I'm going to go ahead and ink up my stamp and then I'm going to stamp it once on my scratch paper because I want this to be just not quite as dark. Now, did you see where there's a big hole there? Okay, I have a lot of dark. If I put this on here, it wouldn't have a very even color tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it again. And then this time, because this is photopolymer and there's no foam on this stamp, I'm going to add my own foam to the stack. But I'm going to put this underneath. This is a paper piercing tool or paper piercing pad mat and then I will um, be able to have this stamp have better contact so I'm going to stamp off once and then I'm going to stamp kind of with this section here this part had some funny lines so I might avoid that let's see which side by the time you stamp off I guess it doesn't really show so I'm going to put this now above the first stamp okay so see how I have those two really pretty layers now from that one image all right, then the uh, mountains, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp in Seaside Spray, and I'm gonna stamp them um, just the detail side, I think. I'm not gonna give it another layer, and I'm gonna put this down. I want it to fill in the gaps in the trees, um, but it doesn't need to go too much lower than that. Okay, see how that works? And see how that mountain, it overlaps a tiny bit, but it's not a big deal. It just kind of gives you some texture there. All right, and that's going to be hidden by our tree anyway. Now, the part that is going to matter is if I take the sun and I stamp it right here, then it's going to be really obvious that I did that. So what I'm going to do is grab my Grapefruit Grove ink, 
And um, the mask is a piece of post-it note. So what I did was I inked this up in Seaside Spray. I stamped it on a post-it note and then you can either cut it with scissors or you can die cut it. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up here with our mountains, okay? And then I'm gonna stamp my sun so that it is going over the mountains here. So I'm gonna stamp it just like that. And when I pull the mountains away, ta-da, it looks like it's behind the mountains instead of like that weird overlapping thing, okay? And then I think um, these cute little uh, tiny um, bird images, I'm gonna go ahead and put them here so that they kind of go like right across the edge of the sun. So I put this one in a different place than my sample so I move my birds elsewhere. Then we have our tree to add and um, I actually recommend the fine tip glue pen for this. And this is the glue that has the little needle tip in it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a little bit on sort of the big spots here. And if you can see the glue, that's probably good enough. Okay, and then um, this glue is not a super quick grab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it down there and then I'm going to step away. Um, I'm gonna put a big block on it and just step away. So this is gonna go here on the side like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my mountains and I'm just gonna set this on here so that we have a nice um, chance for that to grab. Now to close the glue, this is really hard to do if you're like Whoa, in the middle of the air. Easy, easy, easy solution. Put the needle tip right against your finger, then set the glue tip right against your finger. You see how much easier that's gonna be for me to line up and pop in there? Um, it's a super easy trick. Um, just make sure you do it so you don't have to struggle. Okay, and then while we're waiting for that to give us a good um, dry bond, I'm gonna grab my um, basic gray ink pad and my piece of the Seaside Spray Designer Series paper. And I'm going to grab the greeting from um, Silhouette Scenes that says, life is meant for good friends and great adventures. And um, I'm getting ready to go on a Girl Scout camping trip. We're going to Great, Sm um, great Smoky Mountain National Forest and National Park. Uh, and also Mammoth Cave National Park. So lots of fun adventures there to be had for sure. So life is meant for good friends and uh, great adventures. I'm gonna go ahead and ink. Now this one's not photopolymer, so I might find that I didn't get it very straight. So if you do that, here's my tip for using the your background paper to get a good um, image. What I do is I stamp it. So if I kind of line this up on the lines here and say, okay, that should be straight. Well, it is a little straight, but this side is just a little bit up. So what I'm going to do now is take this and know that I don't want to stamp it straight. I want to add just a little tiny tilt in it to reflect that. And actually that was pretty good. So I'm gonna trim this bottom here to match and you can trim this really at anything. And I think that our tree is probably aha, nicely adhered so that I can take my um, image here and go ahead and pop this on here. And somehow I got some ink on there, so I'm gonna cover it up. <laughs> All right, and then this is going to layer on our card base. And this part I'm gonna go ahead and put on with Stampin' Dimensionals, just sort of one on each corner. And flip this baby over and adhere this here with a little bit of the green showing. Now, if you are really, really careful with your designer series paper and you really didn't want to use like a whole piece for this, you could just cut out a section here from the DSP that's behind and use it for something else and no one would ever know, but whatever. I, I love my DSP and I just use it. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little leaf trinket. These come in the copper and in silver and the easiest way to adhere them is to go ahead and press them down onto a glue dot and then pull the trinket off sideways. So I'm, see I'm pulling like this, not like this, um, because then the glue dot will stay with your trinket and not stick to the paper. You won't lose it. So, all right. And that just going to pop down right there. Fun, right? Okay. So four projects in my mountain air series this month, um, the pop up, uh, stair step card and this really fun argyle background card and this monochrome grayscale card. Lots of really great ideas are included in this um, 
this project series this month. So uh, tutorial for projects is free for anyone who places an online order through my Loven Stamp store during the month of March 2020. And you will get cutting directions, detailed um, instructions, and photos for all four of these projects to download as a PDF. Now, if you have more on your wish list, um, and you place an order of at least $50, and that's the total before shipping and tax. Uh, if you place an order of $50 during March, you will not only get a celebration stamp set for free, woohoo, end of celebration, get one of those. And you will also get a Loven Stamps card kit to go, which is a perk that I offer to um, my online customers, place an order of at least $50, and you'll get supplies in the mail for two of these projects. So this will um, definitely be one, this stair step card. You'll get all the pre-cut um, pieces, and embellishments and so forth. Uh, you just have to supply your own stamps and ink. And so if you, in your $50 or whatever order you are placing, um, you can order the ink colors and the stamps if you want to make the cards exactly um, as shown. And those supplies are all listed on my website at lovenstamps.com under uh, Loven Stamps card kits to go. So know that all of those perks are available to you. Uh, there's a hostess code. You can get it from my website at Loven Stamps. And if you have any questions, I will um, be happy to help you. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you will really love this Mountain Air stamp set as much as I have. And I look forward to sharing more projects with you soon. Happy stamping.